our youngest boy is engaged to be married and he's bringing his fiance up here for the first time in a couple weeks. So we're going to put them up in our deluxe accommodations. <laughs> Unfortunately, we don't have any deluxe accommodations, so the barn will have to do. Awesome wallpaper. So, this is the gardening shed, but we actually used to live in here, so they should be fine here. This door is all rotted out and jacked up. So later this year, or possibly even next year, if I can't get to it, I'm taking this whole thing out and putting in one big door. So what I'm gonna do is cut a hole in this door that'll fit a small air conditioner and pop that in. So they got some coolness. It you know, it'll be towards the end of August. It could be anything. It could be really hot. It could be cool. It could be cold. So we'll dress this place up for them. Upstairs here in our little barn is a storage area, but we used it as a bedroom for a while when we first moved here. I'll get into that story in another video. But what I wanted to show was this. I actually built this for my wife for her birthday one year. What it is, is a number one only toilet made completely out of plywood and dowels and a big old funnel. The thing is pretty awesome. It's The plywood is completely sealed. I've made wooden sinks already as well and they don't absorb water you just you soak them in uh modified tongue oil and polyurethane and then you put a heavy finish on it but it doesn't get that much water on it there's no standing water this is just a funnel that goes to the outside the water comes up here and goes through the seat i did that so that the the handle would be nice and stiff. The handle goes in right here, goes through the seat, and then the handle comes out at an angle right at the apex of this arc here. So when you turn it on, it swirls around under the rim and then keeps swirling and makes its way down and out like an old fashioned dentist spit sink cleans it completely and then you have we have a little a little garbage can that goes over here that's got one of them little swinging doors but it's not hooked up right now it's been it's been a few years since it's been used the toilet museum in india wanted this when we were done using it they wrote to me they seen it on uh, an old website and they asked if they could have it when we were done they wanted to put it in the, the world toilet museum I believe it's called but I have actual plans for how to do this it's pretty slick it's nice and curved I made a jig for the table saw that cut that down the ladder and so we'll clean some of this stuff out but the big thing is getting an AC in there we got plenty of little space heaters but if it's if it's 95 degrees they would die in here so I'm gonna get that done for them okay I grabbed the tools that I 
think I'm going to need. I'll dive into this and then probably have to go get the tools I actually need. But all I'm going to do is draw my rectangle on the door right here. This is our rescue dog, Lucy. My daughter wrote this. I have no idea. Lucy came in here and laid down. She wanted the dog to like her when when we first got the dog. The dog really likes her now, but the dog was kind of, you know, wary of people when we first got it. This is 15-year-old for whatever. I know what WTF stands for, but Bish, no clue. Okay, so I have... This is the longest uh, jigsaw blade I have, so hopefully that will make it through the door. I built these doors ages ago, so I can't remember how they're built, but I can see that I've stapled here and here. So it looks like I have two cross members. If I can get that thing right in between them, and actually cut into a little bit of the meat of the cross members that would be perfect that would be nice and strong what i have for holding the unit up i just have a couple these are pretty heavy duty brackets but i don't think i have this is i'm sure hollow i can't really remember but It'll, it'll have to do. This is just a temporary thing. But it might have to go for two years. So if, if the shelf brackets start getting a little wobbly, I'll just, I'll just glue a, a bracket onto the outside if I still need it. But for now, all this stuff will work. it for the layout. Now I just need to drill. I might drill a couple holes but I don't really need to to get my blade started and take my jigsaw and cut this out. I don't have to be really uh, careful with this because it's going away anyways but I'd like to do a good job. I was just looking at this stuff all this stuff here when we were putting the drywall in we didn't have drywall in the house for the first year maybe two maybe three i can't remember um but uh we had our washer and dryer out here and it drained through that and the other one goes up to the toilet upstairs okay let's get this hole cut
that. I was trying to get the tip through, but it uh, blasted all the way through. Damn it. jigsaw blade tends to wander in thicker material like this especially if you're moving fast and I was kind of so I'm gonna straighten up right here and it looks like just this little bit right here possibly a hair at the top and then it looks like I have enough meat there to at least get a few screws in for the bracket at the top and I am just about done. I just took a look at the AC unit. It's a little guy, so I can put the brackets in like this, which makes them quite a bit stronger. So we're almost there. Now, I just got to get some, I'm going to put some Gorilla Tape on the top and the sides. I might do it on the bottom too. I might just caulk that. I got to get it watertight until I replace the door here, which I don't know if I can get to this year. So if this has to last the winter, well, I'll winterize it anyways, but... Okay, just got to seal it up. All right, I'm going to have the sun beating on me in a little while, so I got to hurry this up. 
Here are my solutions for filling the gap. I think this is going to do it. It's a foam cord. I was going to try this. This is a uh, pipe insulation, but this is going to be too big. And then I have Gorilla Tape. Well, she's all sealed up and running. And it's relatively quiet. Well, it's pretty damn quiet. Okay, now it's on AC mode. So, I'm gonna let this run for a while and see if it leaks water inside. Might need to be tipped a little bit. I believe it does. I might have to put some shims under the front a bit. But other than that, she's done. Well, that'll do it for today. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, hit the like button if you like the video. And click on the update icon if you want to receive updates when we upload new videos. Thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.